My name is Alexander Gavlich. I'm the president of United Nations Association of Sweden. Uh, I will share some of my th thoughts today about the topic human rights and identity. My first point, of course, is to go as a friend of United Nations uh, generally and also the values and also the human rights, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, that we are all human beings are equal and born free and e equal in dignity and rights. That's the first uh, sentence in the Universal Declaration, in the first article. And that's very important for myself, my own background. Uh, I was raised up by immigrants coming from uh, former Yugoslavia to Sweden. And uh, of course, that has been part of my life and also uh, a part of my education. I studied law and I have uh, been active in a political life, active in a civil society organizations. And uh, for me, it has been very uh, important to also face these challenges, how to change and transform Sweden, my own society, based, from this based on these values in practice. And uh, that has been part of my life. And, uh, and also, to be very honest, I have been reflecting very much about this. And, and also to be self-critical, I can say it, my own traditional, I mean, activities and my, my, uh, my organizations, I have been active and involved in, we have also to be open. My, my message to you is to be open and to face the challenges. So the, the, the link between the beautiful words and the practice, it's absolutely the focal point for us. To you, when you discuss it together, Afterwards, I will recommend you to start to be a little self-critical so we can also uh, meet, because my point is to meet and to see the challenges with open eyes. If we do that, we will absolutely create a better Sweden. But the challenges, it's of course that to see, not only to be self-critical, it's also important to have leadership among institutions, leaders, both in uh, authorities, in the political life, in civil society, in the judicial life and so on, that are open to see that we have a situation where meet, people are not meeting enough. We are just standing beside each other. So, I mean, if we will uh, meet uh, in our workplace, our studies, uh, whatever, in our associations or organizations, or also among friends. I'm sure that take the discussion. It's always in Sweden, as we say, many of us, that we are afraid of uh, conflicts and discussions. That's, uh, that's one of the main problems we normally say we have. But I think we can go further, we can go around it if we are open-minded uh, to, to, to face even difficult qu questions. I can say myself, I have no answers for everything, but I am open-minded to, to raise questions about identity and human rights. Because, I mean, I am, are not always meeting, I mean, people from various backgrounds because I live in my own cocoon, my own, uh, my, my own uh, ways of, of living. It's not always giving me the chance to meet. But if we do it together, traditional institutions, we have uh, traditional organizations, we have also our traditional networks are open for discuss it and also find in some t sometimes find ways to work with it. I'm sure that we will open this uh, Pandora's box, as we say, and uh, some will be very afraid and some will be critical. I will say to them, calm down, be quiet, because it's not dangerous. It's difficult, absolutely, because changes are always difficult and some changes are not pleasant but they are, uh, they are needed. And if we, if we have this approach, I promise you that we will be able to discuss the most difficult issues, then we will maybe also find a mutual interest to change something today, together, because we start to understand each other, we understand our worries, and we also understand that some culture or some uh, foreign uh, inputs are not easy to take but if we are just talking about them and not together uh, about them i think that we will uh, be in a very very 
uh, less good position to transform Sweden to a better country. So I mean, this is a challenge. I can recommend all people to face uh, themselves in, in towards these human rights and dignity issues and try also to understand sometimes if yourself living in another country and you understand how difficult it is to meet the majority country and the majority population. I think that's, the, that's a very good approach from your, for your uh, personal point of view to understand people coming to our country with other background, other traditions and other, other uh, standpoints. Sweden needs to open for these discussions and I, I think the, the way forward it's definitely that we uh, work with this with the open mind and to and we, with the perspective to take down these beautiful words from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights to the practice and to you I can say you don't be worried this will be a process a journey that will learn uh, you will learn more of it and you will definitely be more enriched by by this kind of uh, knowledge uh, and uh, we will together be uh, better prepared to to face the challenge of identity and human rights so take it with you please and and uh, have these perspectives that the way I want to share with you because that this is what I can give you and and I have seen myself uh, transform myself to be uh, a very very decent uh, uh, member of the society in my own cocoon to 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 be facing uh, challenges and realities for other peoples in my own society that had opened my own eyes I hope I will open your eyes now with this perspective and you will take it with her because we if we do that I, I uh, I am sure that Sweden will be a much better country.